security officers and police you see an influx of gang stalking activity around them that's done by the handlers they like putting their stalkers around police and that's when the cues really start coming in police officers coming straight for me as I said before a targeted individual runs into police quite often regardless of where they are it's a part of a targeted individual's life now what are the chances that I run into a police officer and a security guard on floor two and right as I'm walking up on floor three I see three additional police officers. As soon as I get here and as soon as I start walking, they're coming towards me. That's called synchronization. Whatever this mechanism is called gang stalking, it follows me. There is a target on my back that has been placed there by some entity or person or group. And it's quite common for me to run into police officers in that manner, synchroni in a synchronized manner. In the previous video, 
As I was walking down South Ocean Drive, I walked past three vacant police cruisers. And as soon as I got past the final one, police officers came out of the high-rise condo that was right in the immediate vicinity of the police cruisers. That was synchronization. That is one of the leading tools of the gang stalkers is timing my movements, observing my movements, reporting my movements, and putting stalkers around me so that they can mimic my movements. And mind you, I went to the third floor first to emphasize that it does not have to be a packed mall for my space to be crowded or for my movements to be obstructed. I did that to emphasize that much if not all of gang stalking is synchronized. And the hope is that the activity will get the targeted individual into trouble at some point. That's why there are so many police officers around. It's not to protect the TI. It's to assist the gang stalkers because gang stalkers have proven to me time and time again that they see the police as being on their side in this. Again, synchronized crowds, space crowding. There was plenty of room to go around me in a manner that was not rude or obstructive, and they didn't take it. And you'll have to watch too for gang stalkers that act like they don't see you. They're looking to their left or looking to their right or looking at their phone, so they'll have an excuse to collide into you. It's an obstructive, provocative method that gang stalkers use to impede the progress of the targeted individual and set them up for potential altercations. That's why they like to increase what they're doing when there's police around. Because if the targeted individual reacts in a way that is defensive or resilient, There'll be police around so the gang stalkers can get together and conspire to make the T.I. look bad. Possibly get him arrested and charged with crimes. I've had a gang stalkers call the police on me many times in my 33 years. And to this day, I have no criminal record. Again, I make a move, they make a move. It's synchronized and it's timed. The exact mechanisms are hard to know, but it looks like a military staging event. This looks like a vacant security vehicle. When I get past it, something will happen. As I got past it, somebody in the store moved. That might be nitpicking, but you have to nitpick in gang stalking, otherwise they'll, it's death by a thousand cuts. If they do this enough to you, even little things like that to psychologically harm you or psychologically impede you, to make it look as if you can't escape us. Look, we have somebody to act react every time you act.
I wanted to get a side view or a rear view. As I'm walking past, there's a flood of stalkers leaving. The hope and the aim is to obstruct my movements. And the gold medal for the stalkers is to cause a collision so as to possibly get an altercation started. Nobody is that clumsy and rude to where they dart out in front of a person without regard for that person's movements. As you can see, my movements are crisp, clean, and concise. I'm not wobbling about. I'm not darting out in front of people. I'm not colliding into anyone. I'm simply walking. They move in units, whether they know it or not. They're all acting on the same cues, but they're not necessarily together. They're being used as a unit to their knowledge or not to their knowledge. They may or may not know that they're in a unit. And here we go again. Right as I'm getting on the escalator, there's someone coming. Even in a crowded mall, you can see the coincidence. Cutting in front of me is their go-to move. I'm not sure what it accomplishes for them, but I know it irritates me to no end. It's too much of a coincidence to accept at this point. It is now a derivation. And generally when people think gang stalking or anything to do with a gang or stalking in general, they think local police. This enterprise is above the jurisdiction of local police. And the reason I say that is because it is nationwide and possibly international. And I've said in previous videos, there are upwards of 10,000 people in the United States alone that identify as targeted individuals. That means they see these obstructive harassment mechanisms so often that they have concluded that they are a target of some kind. I've been a targeted individual my entire life. I've mentioned several of the ways a person can get put into a gang stalking program. I've mentioned that I believe that the reason I'm in gang stalking is because I have an inheritance that was left to me through my grandfather via my grandmother who right now is 92 years old. I have eight minutes of recording time left before my storage capacity on my smartphone runs out. So 
I will head towards J.C. Penney's, which is the exit that I generally take. Some sort of a employee of the mall. I think he's security. But we saw him as I went up to the food court area to have a look around. And as soon as I walked past that particular walkway, he's coming back around. That synchronization. He was told to make that move. Now, whether or not he was told to make the move so that he would encounter me as a relative. The fact of the matter is that I just saw him and now I'm seeing him again as I'm walking towards another store. He may or may not know that he was going to encounter me again, but the gang stalkers that advise him knew that he was going to encounter me again that's the point they want you to see the same things over and over again and they want you to experience the same things over and over again so as to instill a sense of inevitability in the targeted individual that this is their life and there's nothing they can do to escape this systemized gang stuff Six minutes of recording time left. This is something you encounter quite a bit too. People in front of you will be walking excessively slow, and then when you try to walk around them, somebody will be walking faster so as to try and cause a collision. People stopping in front of you constantly. We saw that in the Ferrari store as I was leaving. three officers on the top level again I'm encountering them for the second time as a matter of synchronization the three figures at the top of the well not at the top but they're on the floor above me I just got them on camera Whether or not they knew they'd see me again is not the point. The point is that they were at my approximate location again. And I saw them again as a matter of a synchronized mechanism. That is another reason why targeted individuals get nowhere by going to the police about gang stalking. It's because they participate in gang stalking. Now, whether they know they're participating in gang stalking or whether they believe they're participating in a legitimate security operation is irrelevant. The fact of the matter is they are participating in a program that is, obstruct that is obstructive, that is hateful, that is rude, that is harmful, that is damaging, that is unfair, that is slanderous. One that must be dismantled at the highest levels of 
national and international government because at some point some security mind or some military mind came up with something after 9-11 happened to quote unquote preemptively stop terrorism attacks and this is it ladies and gentlemen there's constantly police around there's constantly people around ready to call the police there's constantly security guards around we probably encounter a number of undercover local state and federal law enforcement agencies just in this short video there's a military aspect to it and why is it after me apparently i've been flagged as a potential terrorist and these are all preemptive measures to stop me from being able to carry out any kind of a terrorist attack in the united states despite not having a criminal record and despite having never associated with terrorists in my life. We got about a minute and a half of recording time left. Synchronized space crowding. It happens too often to be coincidences. They are derivations. the immediate stoppage as I was leaving that's obstruction of movement it happened in a synchronized fashion and what are the chances that I as an individual constantly run into that day after day week after week month after month and year after year, regardless of where I am. It's synchronized. Gang stalkers move in units. Now, whether they know that they're in the presence of other gang stalkers, I don't know. Do the gang stalkers know that there are other people in this same mall that are acting on the same cues that they're acting on? I don't know. I don't see them high-fiving each other each time one of them obstructs my movement or crowds my space. I don't see them looking at each other. I don't see them gesturing to each other. But they're all acting on the same cues. said in previous videos that you see heightened gang stalking activity when there's police around it looks like there's one in front of me you can't really see the badge but he's talking to that security officer and bam right on cue systemic orchestrated obstruction of my movements right in front of the security officers and the police ladies and gentlemen I've said it emphatically 
throughout this series, when you see security officers and police, you see an influx of gang stalking activity around them. That's done by the handlers. They like putting their stalkers around police, and that's when the cues really start coming in. police officers coming straight for me. As I said before, a targeted individual runs into police quite often. Regardless of where they are, it's a part of a targeted individual's life. Now, what are the chances that I run into a police officer and a security guard on floor two and right as I'm walking up on floor three, I see three additional police officers. As soon as I get here and as soon as I start walking, they're coming towards me. That's called synchronization. Whatever this mechanism is, called gang stalking, it follows me. There is a target on my back that has been placed there by some entity or person or group. And it's quite common for me to run into police officers in that manner, synchroni in a synchronized manner previous video, when I was walking down South Ocean Drive, I walked past three vacant police cruisers, and as soon as I got past the final one, police officers came out of the high-rise condo that was right in the immediate vicinity.